Hey, what's going on? I've got here a one-of-a-kind USA-made folding knife, which was designed for hard-use EDC. This is the Hinderer Fire Attack. We have the Sleek 20CV Stonewash Blade, which is like a mix between a Tanto blade and a draw point. Hinderer calls it Espanto. How that makes sense, I'm not sure, but we'll just go with it. I brown my car to show scale. The other scale and pocket clip is anodized bronze titanium, which looks amazing, by the way. Typical Hinderer pocket clip. It works very well though it is not reversible but it can however be changed to the right handed tip down position why you would want to do that i'm not sure but the option is there the thumb disc here allows for extremely effortless deployment from the reverse flick or thumb flick action is amazing and truly just feels like a premium quality knife when opening or closing the lock bar is pretty easy to get to and comfortable to use Ergonomics are great, just what you would expect from any hinderer knife. When in hand, it truly feels ready to use for any task which requires a blade. The jimping on the spine here aids in precise cutting. So let's talk a little bit about the blade still on this knife. 20CV and M390 are basically the same steel. They both are high in corrosion resistance, both are high in edge retention. Both are extremely hard, which makes them slightly prone to chipping but they definitely excel in the edge retention category. I found this chart to be pretty useful. It shows varying steels and their toughness and hardness level in comparison to each other. I just thought it was pretty interesting and you can see M390 here rates pretty high on the hardness level, but as you can see, pretty low on the toughness level, which just means M390 can be prone to chipping, especially when sharpened to an extremely fine edge. This knife is for sale in the Knives in Trees Facebook group, which I will put the link to in the description. And if you like Hinderer knives, or knives in general made in the good old US of A, make sure you hit that subscribe button.